Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up an email based two-factor authentication on FortiGate. To begin, what you need to do is to go to user and authentication, go to user definition and then choose the username, um, click edit. Now, in some on some FortiGate uh, model, I'm using a 300D in this scenario here, you have the option of um, edit in email. So, but in this version here, I do not have the option of editing email. Um, it might be, might be a feature to enable for the Git I don't know, but right now it's not there. So what I'm going to do is to just go straight to CLI. Now on CLI, you type in config user local, and then you edit the username. The username once you edit is that. Of course, you could just do show to view what is there. So basically what I have is just this. So what you're then going to do is to set the two factor to email now before i do that now you could use the question mark to set to factor this tells you the option that you have you have the option uh for the token for the cloud email and sms now let me just minimize this briefly if i go to two-factor authentication you only see that i have authentication type for the token or for the cloud now if i use for the token i need to select a token if i use for the cloud i'll need to put in um what's it called the email of course it's telling me no balance in your physical cloud accounts yeah now you need to have some balance in your cloud, cloud, cloud account um for some 40 gate it can as in some 40 gate comes with um i think um some trial period that you can basically try um with the 40 cloud token but um, I know the email, I'm um, sorry, the for the token, sorry, for the cloud token, for the email, sorry, for the token itself, you have two mobile tokens that you can use on your device. So it's just as good as selecting the, um, the token and then putting the email. If I put in the email without the token, um, So if I just do this, start going to tell me you require this. The only one that will work is a, is a for the cloud, uh, for the token cloud, which basically is telling me I do not have any balance there. So what I'm going to do is to do the email based two factor authentication. To do that, I'm going to um, let me disable this back. Um, actually, just cancel that. Go back to edits. So you can see I have nothing here. Of course, like I said, I only have these two options. So what I'm going to do is to make sure that um, I edit the. I mean, I had the email. So set two factor. The two factor will be email, and then you set sets email sets email two, and then you type in the email address that you want to send the two factor to once you do this what then happens is that the email is sent to that email so i'm going to type in end an email is sent from 48 or 40 nets to um to this email so what i want to do is to connect to my vpn and then um once i enter my vpn credential which is basically of, in this case uh it will be this username uh it's going to ask me to, it's going to send me a, a two-factor authentication to this email and it's going to send me a code which i'm going to use on my vpn client so watch this so i open my 40 clients um, enter my credential and then um do this connect what you then see is that it will try to connect and then send you oh, i put in the wrong credential let me try that again the correct credential yeah i have a fat finger connect great so you can see an email containing a token code will be sent to the email in a moment of course if you go to this email right now nothing is there well let's refresh that um yep there it is so basically came in copy this code then notice the email came from foreignet uh, dot net so um i'm going to my foreignet uh, for the for the clients i can't talk this now, i don't know why so now click ok once you click ok what is that basically connects to the vpn now 
um, this is how to use an email based authentication now let me just quickly minimize this um, and then show you what changed so when I click on user definition notice now I have this email and then if I click edit watch this I have the third option I have for the cloud for the token, I have email based two factor authentication. It was not there before. So I have for the token, for the cloud, email based two factor authentication. So this is how to enable email based two factor authentication on Fortigate. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to use <coughs> for the token um, to set um, what's it called to set an um was it um to set an authentic two factor based authentication uh please subscribe to my video if you like this content uh if you'd like to see more um please share the video as well to other people who want to learn i have other videos on 40 net uh for the git tutorial i have some on 40 web as well uh please subscribe i would like to have more uh, subscribers um engaging on some of these videos and um please also tell me how i can improve some of this video thank you so much